Basic hygiene products can be hard for some people to afford. It's known as hygiene poverty. 7 News reporter Chad Charette learns how one woman who went through hygiene poverty as a child is now taking part in an effort to end it for others. When you're a young girl, you know, I'm, you know, 12 years old, 11 years old with a period. And when you don't have the items that you need, it's very dehumanizing. Meet Heidi Williams. She experienced what many call hygiene poverty. As a kid, her family was unable to afford a lot of the items we take for granted. Things like body wash, toothpaste, and as you heard, menstrual products. Um, it was extremely tough. I mean, there's a ton of shame and embarrassment that comes with that. Now, she's part of the Jefferson County Hygiene Collective, a coalition of like-minded individuals and organizations with a single goal ending hygiene poverty. Over the years, they've gathered supplies for easy distribution at places like Pivot and Planned Parenthood. I know what it feels like to go without those items. I understand the shame, the embarrassment, the isolation, and I truly do not think that any child deserves to be in that position. How do folks get in that position, though? At Jefferson County Public Health, Jamie McNeely has a theory. A lot of people struggle sometimes between paying their bills and buying those hygiene products are things that sometimes just go to the wayside because of that. If you'd like to help, here's your chance. The Hygiene Collective will be hosting a trunk or treat at JBY's place on Friday. All attendees are encouraged to donate essential hygiene products. The dignity that comes along with you know, having good hygiene um, is something that everyone deserves. So we are trying our best to eliminate hygiene poverty in Jefferson County. Once again, the Trunk or Treat will be held here at J.B. Weiss Place on Friday. Folks will be able to bring in their donations while the event runs from 4 to 7. Chad Charette, 7 News.